In this lesson, I'm going to explain how to export a project to H.264. Now, H.264, sometimes called MPEG-4 Part 10 or AVC, Advanced Video Coding, is a common compression scheme. It's one of the standards for Blu-ray discs. It's used for HD television broadcasting and also for internet streaming services like Vimeo and YouTube. It is very commonly used. When you export to H.264, you create MP4 files. So to follow along, go to Working Files and open up Photoshop PSD files and open up 0802 Export H264. This is my edit of the dressage lesson that I shot. I have it here so you can get some video editing and shooting tips and also get a sense of how to put together a story here. I'm going to go to the beginning here. I start off with a standard establishing shot, a sign that says where we are. I go from wide to tight like that. And then I kind of give you a lay of the land here, show some horses. This is a matched action shot where they're kind of nuzzling together. Then there's a tighter version of that matched action shot. Then we go to this other exterior shot. And here I slowed it down. And to slow it down, I needed to add some audio because when you slow it down, you lose the audio. So I took the original audio and put it down here. And I did that on purpose so you could hear the instructor here because I want to be able to go from this exterior shot to then go to the instructor. So this is kind of a transition. You let people know you're going to do something by playing the audio here like this. Perfect job. There. And that way people aren't going to be surprised when you see an instructor. I use this shot here to have it be another establishing shot to say this is an instructor and there is the rider in this lesson. So you can see them both at the same time. We go on to this next shot where we go from the instructor to the rider. And I have the rider go off the frame here so it'll be easier to edit to the next shot like that. So it wouldn't be a jump cut as I call it. From here I go back to the instructor, different angle, a little bit wide off to the side like that. Go back to the rider again. Again, disable variety. This is a tight shot of the rider. Go back to the instructor. Same angle, but a tighter shot. Go back to the rider again. And then back to the instructor. From in front, again, four different shots of the instructor. Just have a little variety and different shots of the rider. And then here we go. And this last shot kind of wraps things up. I wanted to have a beginning, middle, and end. So the beginning was the establishing shot. The middle was, you know, here we are doing a lesson. This one kind of wraps things up by the audio that you hear here. Quietly think about that walk when you're ready. Good for you. Good recovery. So it just kind of says we're done now. So that's what I try to do when I do little stories. I want to have a beginning, middle, and an end, and establishing shots and closing shots, and a variety of angles and a variety of shots. All right, now I want people to see this project, and for them to see it, I need to export it. So I go up to File, Export, and I choose Render Video to open up the Render Video dialog box. I need to do a few things here. Right now I've got to name it. I'll just choose the name that we've got for this project, which is right there. And it says MP4 at the end. That's the extension. That's because the format that's selected here is H.264, the one we're going to use. But if I happen to have a different one there, I could have DPX there, for example. It would say DPX after it. Or if I had QuickTime, it would say MOV. But we'll go back to H.264 there. I want to select the folder where I'm going to store this. So I can choose that. And I'm going to go to the My Photoshop Exercise Files folder on my desktop and click OK there. Now I'm going to choose the Adobe Media Encoder. I'm not going to choose the image sequence. And there's the format H.264. Now there are lots of presets when you work with H.264, many more than you'll find with QuickTime. Let's just show you that preset list there. Tons of them here. Presets for Android, for iPads, for Apple phones, for HD, various kinds of formats. NTSC, which is not HD. PAL for Europe, Vimeo, YouTube. The thing is, if you are going to upload this to YouTube or something like that, you really want the highest quality you can have, then YouTube will create sort of lower quality versions so people can choose depending on the speed of their connection. So usually I aim high. So in this case, it would be HD 1080p 2997, which is the original footage. Or I could just choose high quality. That would be the same thing. But I'm going to be very specific here and choose that one. The size is the resolution. And 1920 by 1080 is full HD. There are some various other sizes here that you can choose in terms of presets, including the same one there, HDTV 1080p. But I'm going to take the document size. It's kind of odd that it's called document size when you're working with video, but nevertheless, the original size of the video was 1920 by 1080, so we're going to stick with that. The frame rate is 2997. That too is the original frame rate for the video, but I could cut this down to something like 10 or 15, which means the playback would be a little choppy, but the file sizes would be quite a bit smaller. But I'm going to go with the default 2997 here. The field order is grayed out here because I chose 1080p, which is progressive. If I chose 1080i, we'd have a couple of options here. The aspect is the aspect ratio for the pixels. We have one here because HD uses square pixels right down there. And it's not likely you need to worry about the aspect because you'd set that up here when you choose the preset. Nevertheless, we've got one here, which is what we want to have. Color manage on by default, which is fine. Now the range is all the frames or some subset of the frames. 
I want to export the entire project, so I just choose all frames there. Down here, you've got an option for 3D quality, not for the alpha channel, because that's available only for MOV files, only for QuickTime. And 3D quality, we're not concerned about here. So we just click Render. There we go. Now this will convert this project into a video file. I'll let it do that. I'll pause the video while it does that, and then we'll come back and take a look at it. All right, the rendering process is just about wrapped up here. This is a one and a half minute video, and it took about four minutes to do this rendering. All right, I want to take a look at this. So I minimize this, and I go to the My Photoshop Exercise Files folder. And here is the video. It's an MP4 file. Double click on it. And there it is. You can all just jump out a little bit here. There, super, much better. There you go. Far. Let's wrap it up and here. then quietly think about that walk when you're ready. Good for you. Good recovery. There we go. And that's how you export projects to the H.264 format.